We're at Ecole Northwestern School, and behind me is our playground. I don't know what you've been told. Ecole Northwestern's playground's old. Play spaces all across BC are falling apart, and some communities don't even have a playground of their own. That's why at BCAA, we feel it's so important that kids have a great place to play, to grow and learn, and really, at the end of the day, just be kids. We need the, these structures out there for the kids to develop skills. If they're on a plot of grass, yes, they get to use their legs and run around, but they're not using their arms to climb. They're not doing at-risk play where they're having to figure out what their limits are and what their capabilities are. Each year, BCAA Play Here invites British Columbians to nominate play spaces in need for a chance to win a revitalization worth up to $100,000. One school, Ecole North Oyster in Ladysmith, was chosen as a finalist, and they worked so incredibly hard to get thousands and thousands of votes. After weeks of campaigning, we are announcing the winners of the BCAA Play Here contest. Today, BCAA is so pleased to announce that the final winner today is Ecole North Oyster in Ladysmith. <laughs> but the journey doesn't end after you win. We're following at Cullen North Oyster to see what goes on behind the scenes and what it takes to get a play space of their dreams. I knew as soon as we won that it was, all right, what's next? How do we move this forward? Because I know it's going to be crazy and chaos for the next three months. Hey, Chrissy, it's nice to finally meet you. How are you feeling after winning? Oh my goodness, we are so excited. We have finally have the funding to build our accessible playground for our kids. So right off the bat, do you have any thoughts on design? Yeah, we have some families that need accessibility. And uh, so we want a paved path and some nature inspired um, elements such as a, a mount. That sounds amazing. I, I can't wait to hear more about it at the needs assessment. Hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> A needs assessment is when we sit down with the local community and we talk to parents, school district, the municipality to see what they want in their new play space. You mentioned accessible flooring here. Do you have a, a thought of what that looks like to so you? Whether it's tile servicing or it might be the like pour in place or... Wood chips are considered accessible because they do pack down over years. So a wheelchair can fit in, other kids can fit in so that everyone can play together. Totally inclusive. And the families have been involved in the design of it. I have two boys that go to North Oyster and I'd love nothing more than to be able to play with them in the park. So they'd be on the swings and, Mom, can you push me? Can you push me? And I'd always have to say no. It's great now that I'm going to be able to actually be there. It's the site work that's going to be a big one for this job. Yeah. yeah. Up for the challenge? You got this far. What challenge? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be a really tight timeline for us to get everything set in place before BCA can come in and, and do the rest. So since our last meeting in late June, we've been busy working on designs for you and your community. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, it looks so cool! With this view, you kind of got the berm, the slide coming down. We were able to keep all the wood components. I like the big yeah. logs going up the side. I think that's neat. Like from the school district, the wood. Yeah, we had already touched base with Mark about that, but, so okay. he's aware. It's a beautiful design, and yeah. thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Yay. <laughs> I mean, I feel it's just waiting for the school district to say yes. We're going to make it in time. We're going to get everything ready in time for this to be built by the end of September. Through the last 20 years we've spent having to deal with wood has been not a great experience. Is there anything that we could do to help progress this and change the policy? It's more to do with the ongoing maintenance and lifespan of these things. I think it's the material. That's what it comes down to. Hi, Chrissy. How are you doing? Okay. I, we think we're pretty disappointed right now that the playground's going to get pushed back. I know this is tough, but I'm confident that everyone has your community's best interest at heart, and BCA is going to make sure that we do come up with a design that's best for everyone. I know you will, and I'm sure it's going to be worth the wait. The biggest challenge in creating a playground is making sure that it suits everybody's needs. The municipality, the school district, the kids. And what's really important here is we have to think about future generations. This play space is going to be in that community for the next 50 years.
So we finally got the sign off approval. Okay, this is your playground. It was exciting in a whole different way. Just sort of made everything that was kind of hypothetical a lot more real and sort of grounded for us. So the design's been approved. How are you feeling? I know, we're so excited. It's a bit surreal right now that it's actually happening. And we've got a lot to do now. When we got it, it was like not even believable. Of course, like that was a full year ago, pretty much it's taken to actually see it happen. <laughs> If you guys weren't here today, this still wouldn't be happening. So I want to thank you for coming. Like the only reason this playground is here is because of this woman's determination and her hard work and her effort. Just see it in their face. They're so excited watching us build it, and then when they finally get to play on it, they're just so happy. real thing. We're playing on it. <laughs> there was a many, many moments where I felt like Lily might have been out of the school by the time it would have happened. And there were many moments where I was ready to stop and I knew that I wasn't, wouldn't be okay with that if I did. So this is what it's been all about all the way along. And so to actually have that ribbon cut and the kids run onto the playground, it was just a heartwarming feeling. Are you coming? <laughs> <laughs>